social security increase to all seniors, and mark this date on calendar. As seniors and retirees prepare for the upcoming year, one important date they have circled on their calendars is October 10th. This date holds significance beyond the changing of seasons, as it marks when the Social Security Administration is scheduled to announce the cost of living adjustment percentage for 2025. The COLA, as it is commonly referred, is an annual increase made to Social Security and Supplemental Security income benefits to account for inflation and keep pace with rising consumer costs. For many retirees and others receiving these benefits, the COLA percentage each year can make a meaningful difference in their standard of living and ability to afford basic needs. Entering the final months of 2022, economists and analysts have begun weighing in on their projections for what next year's COLA may look like. After a sizable 8.7% increase for 2023 due to high inflation, early indications suggest the 2025 adjustment is likely to come in lower as consumer prices have shown signs of moderating in recent months. However, others argue inflation remains stubbornly high despite government efforts, and the real rate may be even higher than what headline numbers portray. Regardless of where next year's figure lands, one thing is certain. Social Security faces enormous long-term financial challenges that a single-digit COLA will do little to remedy on its own. The program's trustees have long warned that by 2035, tax income will only be enough to pay around 80% of scheduled benefits. To avoid a projected 24% reduction in payouts by 2032, Congress must pass legislative reforms to strengthen Social Security's funding. The video discusses these upcoming trends and long-term issues in depth, while also passionately advocating for recipients. It highlights how despite nominal GDP reaching record highs, seniors have not shared proportionately in overall economic growth. Housing, medical, and food costs have all risen faster than the general inflation level, squeezing household budgets. The consequences of even a seemingly small reduction in benefits could be dire for many retirees, heavily reliant on Social Security as a major income source. With these challenges in mind, the host urges viewers to make their voices heard. They propose contacting members of Congress to voice support for an immediate increase of $2,400 per individual or $4,000 per couples to help restore lost purchasing power. This, they argue, would relieve economic hardship for many while buying policymakers more time to develop bipartisan reforms. As the annual COLA announcement nears, it will be informative for retirees and the advocacy community to monitor inflation data and policy discussions. The range of estimates for next year's adjustment underscores ongoing uncertainty around the pace of future price increases. While a lower figure may ease short-term budget pressures, it also means benefits will fail to keep up with rising costs that disproportionately impact the elderly. No matter the 2025 number, the program's long-range funding shortfalls demand comprehensive solutions. The video makes a compelling case that beneficiaries deserve a seat at the table during reform debates that will shape their economic well-being in retirement. Staying plugged into the issues and making voices heard could influence priorities and help achieve an outcome balancing fiscal solvency with adequate support for those dependent on Social Security benefits. Overall, it serves as a reminder of the personal impact of policies and the need for informed civic participation on issues critically important to communities. While advocates push for an immediate benefit boost, others argue this alone does not solve Social Security's financial troubles and other steps must eventually be taken. To truly strengthen the program's long-term outlook, policymakers on both sides of the aisle have floated various reform proposals, though to date political divisions have blocked a consensus solution. One option frequently discussed would be to gradually increase the full retirement age at which seniors can claim their full scheduled benefits. Currently, this stands at 67 for those born in 1960 or later. Supporters of a further raise argue Americans are living and working longer lives, so delaying payouts aligns with changing longevity. However, critics note physical demands of many jobs mean not all can work to an older age, and low-income Americans often retire earlier due to health issues or job losses. A second approach debated focuses on strengthening the link between benefits and life expectancy. One proposal ties future COLAs to a chain-weighted CPI designed to better account for consumer substitution between goods during inflation. While this could help funding, some argue it amounts to a stealth benefit cut over time 
and fails to address rising health care inflation facing seniors. Another concept gaining interest is gradually raising the payroll tax rate employers and workers pay into Social Security. Currently, this stands at 6.2% on wages up to an annual maximum, $160,200 in 2023. Incremental hikes of 0.1% per year could generate substantial added revenue, according to projections. However, businesses warn higher taxes could reduce employment and wage growth if not implemented carefully. On the benefits side, means testing payments has emerged as one option to target aid more efficiently. Annual income thresholds could phase out benefits for higher earners no longer relying on the program as a primary income source. This could help address concerns that Social Security redistributes upward to the affluent. However, others counter means testing goes against Americans' earned benefits and could discourage saving. Crafting bipartisan reforms acceptable to policymakers across the ideological spectrum will require compromise. Some proposals incorporate a blend of these different levers, such as gradually raising both the retirement age and payroll tax rate in tandem with a modest COLA formula change. Multi-pronged packages aim to balance priorities of strengthening funding while protecting the most vulnerable retirees. Whatever policy road is ultimately chosen, Americans deserve certainty that promised Social Security payouts will remain available. With trust funds projected to run short in the next decade or so absent reforms, the need for solutions grows more urgent with each passing year. While changes may cause short-term unease, well-designed overhauls can put benefits on a sustainably solvent footing for generations to come. Stakeholders across the political spectrum should redouble efforts toward an agreement. As the video highlights, economic security and retirement impacts not just beneficiaries but also their families, businesses in local communities, and the broader economy. By staying informed and participating in the debate, citizens retain their ability to shape an outcome preserving this vital safety net for future retirees, as it has for the past 85-plus years since Social Security's founding. With open and honest discussion, as well as compromises when needed, the political will exists to surmount challenges and safeguard this cornerstone program for decades ahead. As policymakers weigh options, events on the global stage also influence Social Security's financial reality. Geopolitical tensions, supply chain disruptions, climate events, and other macroeconomic factors can impact tax revenue and benefit costs in ways that compound existing pressures. For instance, prolonged high inflation erodes purchasing power while a recession potentially reduces payroll tax income. A diversified, resilient approach balancing priorities prepares the system to withstand unexpected shocks. Looking abroad provides examples of alternative models pursued by other developed nations. Countries like Australia adopted a two-tier system with a mandated private pension to supplement their social insurance programs. Canada similarly implemented premium pension accounts 